Hi everyone, I am Jacopo Colonnelli, an assistant professor at the University of Torino in Italy and a member of the CWL technical team. During this presentation, I'm going to introduce this new CWL Working Groups initiative and in particular I will explore what are the aims of a working group, which working groups already exist in the community and how people can create a new one. Several other standards and products already provide some uh, kind of expert groups officially recognized by the standard committees. Working groups are commonly special places in which expert people can meet and discuss about improvements or missing features for supporting a specific use case or a specific scientific domain. For example, the MPI standards as working groups listed in the MPI forum Debian has pure blends, which are developer uh, groups, and also recently NextFlow uh, workflow system launched the Special Interest Groups initiative to uh, reunite uh, people for discussing uh, and cooperate on NF core pipelines. So it's time for CWL to move in this direction too. And so finally, also CWL has working groups listed on the official website at the link I wrote on this slide here. In the CWL ecosystem, a working group is a focus group with a vertical interest in a specific CWL advancement direction. It can be the fault tolerance, uh, high performance computing, neuroscience, whatever. The point is that a working group represents a flourishing environment where to build, refine and validate CWL enhancement proposals by mixing the competencies of domain experts, CWL users, and workflow system implementers with a specific focus on a particular topic. However, the Working Groups initiative will not harm in any way the openness principle of OpenStand. According to this principle, anyone can discuss, propose, and test ideas about the standards, and working groups will stick with this principle. Indeed, they will be open to anyone, there won't be any fee to participate in working groups and individual contributions from members of the community will still be considered by the governing board as before. The only role of working groups will be to unite and join the effort of a diverse set of experts to produce high quality enhancement proposals that will be more likely to be accepted by the community, given their high quality. In addition, anybody in the CWL community can create a new working group. The process is quite simple. Just submit a proposal to the CWL leadership team with the name of the group, the scope, so the field of interest that the groups want to discuss, the name of uh, two or three group leaders that will be in charge of updating the website with the uh, advancements and achievements of the working group and to talk directly with the CWL leadership team for approval and a short description of the main areas of interest of the group. The first uh, CWL working group has already been created. It is called the CWL for HPC, so Common Workflow Language for High Performance Computing. And we will briefly explore this group in the rest of this presentation to uh, have an example of how a working group can actually work. So the CWL for HPC working group is led by me and by Bruno Kinoshita from the Barcelona Supercomputing Center in Barcelona, Spain. And its main goal is to identify the workflow patterns that can describe large-scale scientific applications for high-performance computing and to implement them as CWL enhancement proposals. So the main goal of the CWL for HPC group is to enable the whole CWL ecosystem to describe the typical HPC workloads from the more traditional applications like molecular dynamic simulation, weather forecasting, to new uh, workloads like foundational model training and so on and so forth. And at the same time to let the workflow system orchestrate this kind of application at extreme scales and all without sacrificing the generality and the agnostic nature of CWL itself. 
Even if the CWL4HPC group is open to anyone, we are particularly looking for domain experts that deal with this kind of applications every day, HPC administrators that are familiar with very large scale data centers and how to operate them, workflow designers and maintainers that deal with uh, extreme scale workflows, and also workflow system implementers that want to target extreme scale executions in their products. But again, anyone that is interested in this kind of applications, in this kind of discussions and wants to join and contribute to this uh, effort is more than welcome. And uh, in the slide, I put the link to the official group chat. So please come and join us. Operationally, the CWL4HPC group works as follows. For each CWL enhancement proposal that the group wants to target, we follow this list of operations. First, we motivate it with at least two real use cases because we want to be sure that what we are actually proposing has a real use case. Then we agree on a first draft of the syntax and the semantics of the CWL language to describe this feature and we implement it as a new CWL extension on CWL tool, which is the reference implementation, and on at least another CWL compliant workflow system. This is crucial. We also develop a suite of conformance tests to verify compliance with the, the new feature. Then we take at least two existing CWL workflows or two uh, realistic CWL workflows that can benefit from this new feature and we validate the new feature on those cases by dating performance, uh, simplicity, flexibility, expressive power and so on and so forth. Normally we do not reach the perfection at the first iteration, so the process iterates back. We validate if there's something that is okay, something that is not okay. For the things that are not okay, we rethink a new syntax or we expand the syntax and the semantics with what is missing. Then we implement the new features and validate them again. After we reach a sufficient level of maturity for the feature, the group agrees to present the proposal to the CWL community and to the CWL leadership team, asking for the inclusion of the feature in the following standard version. The first concrete achievement of the CWL for HPC group is a CWL tool loop extension to represent iterative workflows. As you may know, CWL up to version 1.2 does not uh, uh, represent uh, iterative uh, workflows because it lacks iterative constructs in the coordination language, but uh, uh, many HPC applications require iterative constructs. For example, simulations often iterate up to uh, the convergence of the result or uh, deep learning training processes iteratively train the same model on uh, uh, the whole data set up to reaching a given accuracy on the training set. So we came up with this extension. We implemented it on CWL tool and on Streamflow, which are two CWL compliant workflow systems. And we tested it on a real federated learning use case, also involving two different HPC facilities at the same time. If you want to know more about this uh, validation experiment, you can check uh, the two papers I reported on this slide. And by the way, uh, currently, the CWL tool loop inclusion in the CWL uh, 1.3 as a native feature is under discussion. We hope that this is just the first achievement of uh, a long series in the CWL for HPC working group because CWL is not ready uh, enough for describing all the HPC applications, as I discussed la the last year during the CWL conference. But at the same time, we hope that uh, 
the CWL for HPC is just the first of a huge series of uh, CWL working groups in an effort to continuously improve the standard and to reach a higher and higher quality of the expressive power. Thank you very much.